A real estate agent's past client list is not enough. Anytime you talk to a real estate agent and they proudly tell you, 90% of my business comes from past clients and refer, then your business sucks. You are not making the kind of money you need to make and you've got to change your approach. And here's what I mean by that. There's nothing wrong with sphere of influence. What's wrong is if you're leaving it the same size. Every single day, it needs to be growing. Every day, more people need to come into your sphere, of, uh, your sphere of influence, what we call your universe. You need to get more people to know you, like you, and trust you. You see, when you find the old-time real estate agents, the seasoned pros that have been doing this 20 or 30 years, they'll proudly tell you that 90% of their business comes from their past client and referrals, but they forget to tell you that their income is nearly the same every single year because they're fishing the same pond every single year. As a matter of fact, it's the same income minus the differences in the market. Meaning if the market's like this, you're getting the same amount of money. If the market goes slower, you're getting a little bit less money. If you get COVID income, all of a sudden you're getting more money, but it's from the same list. What I wanna challenge you with today is not being market dependent, but being dependent on you growing your sphere of influence, getting more people to know you, like you, and trust you. Let me give you an example. By me giving you free, helpful information here, there's gonna be more agents that follow our page. That's me growing my sphere of influence. That's me growing the number of people that know me, like me, and trust me. And guess what? Over time, as they see all of the agents that we're creating millionaires out of, they say, you know what? Maybe I should try something out. Oh my gosh, I got myself free closings. I wanna keep doing more. What I'm doing is I'm growing my sphere of influence. Well, the same is true for you as a real estate agent. How are you getting buyers and sellers or prospective buyers and sellers from your local market to have an interest in working with you? If you're pooling from the same pond every single year and you're not restocking that pond, there's no way for you to grow your business. Don't be proud of not growing. Don't be proud that your income is always the same. I want you to be proud that 90% of your business came from past clients and sphere of influence. Two years ago, that was 300 grand. Last year, it was 400 grand. And this year, it's on track to be 500 grand, even though 90% of your business comes from past clients and referrals. That's because you're building that universe. You're building that sphere of influence, the number of people that know you, like you, and trust you. So your goal is to build a bigger herd, to get a bigger group of people that you can gather that are interested in you, that you provide information for. Uh, frankly, if you're not nurturing the ones that you have, don't bring anybody else in. You're gonna do a bad job on the new ones. But what'll happen is if you're getting new leads and you're doing a good job on nurturing them by putting them into that long-term nurture, you'll naturally do a better job of following up with your sphere of influence because they're all in one list. You know, everything that I teach, all of the free training that we provide for everybody, usually the only way I send it out is via email. You'll get a link via email. It's totally free of charge. But if you haven't went to gregsprioritylist.com to drop in your email, you're never going to get it. All of the resources, all of the scripts, all of the white papers, all of the free downloads that we provide for you, the webinar trainings we have, I usually only send them out via email. And if you haven't opted in, at gregspriorityList.com, you're not getting them. Most importantly, you should be following this page, but what am I doing? I'm growing my sphere of influence. I'm showing you how good I am so that when you have a need, you know who to go to. Can you do the same thing with buyers and sellers in your market? Instead of being proud that you're grossing 200 grand a year from your sphere of influence, let's gross 300 and then 400 and then 500 and beyond. That only happens if we're growing your sphere of influence. I wanna show you how to do it. Go there right now, gregspriorytylist.com. Let me know your thoughts below. What are your thoughts on this? What do you do to grow your list, to grow your audience? And what do you do that your past clients love? Let me know your thoughts on that below. I'm Greg Luther. We'll talk to you soon and bye-bye for now.